the sun was setting over a small village, casting a golden glow over the thatch roofs and the dusty streets. In one of the houses, a warrior, Kwame, was preparing to say goodbye to his family before heading off to battle. He had been called to fight alongside his comrades to defend their land against a rival clan. Kwame's heart was heavy as he looked at his wife, Akoswa, and their two children, Ama and Bimpa. He knew that it could be the last time he saw them, and the thought filled him with a sense of sadness and longing. Akoswa, seeing his emotion, approached him and placed a gentle hand on his shoulder. Kwame, my love, you must go and do what you must. We will be here waiting for your return. Kwame nodded, trying to hold back his tears. He knew that he had to be strong for his family, but it was very hard to leave them behind. He looked at Ama and Bimpa. They were too young to understand the danger that their father was about to face. He knelt down and hugged them tightly, trying to imprint their faces in his memory. As he stood up, Akoswa handed him a small pouch containing a few belongings and a note. This is for you, Kwame, in case, just in case. Kwame took the pouch, feeling a lump form in his throat. He knew what she was trying to say, and it only made his departure more difficult. The family walked together to the edge of the village, where Kwame's comrades were waiting for him. The warriors were dressed in their finest attire, their weapons shining in the fading light. As Kwame turned to say his final goodbye, Akoswa took his face in her hands and looked into his eyes. Come back to us, Kwame. We need you. Kwame nodded, trying to hold back his tears. I will, my love. I promise. With one last look at his family, Kwame turned and joined his comrades. Together, they marched off into the unknown leaving behind the people they love. As they disappeared into the distance, Akoswa and the children watched, their hearts heavy with worry and fear. They knew that Kwame was going to face great danger, and they could only hope that he would return to them safely. The days passed slowly and the village was filled with anxiety and uncertainty. Akoswa and the children waited for news of Kwame's fate, their hearts itching with every passing moment. Finally, after many moons, a messenger arrived with news of the battle. Kwame's clan had emerged victorious, but at a great cost. Many warriors had fallen, and Kwame was among them. Akoswa and the children were devastated. They had lost their beloved husband and father, and their lives would never be the same again. But even in their grief, they found solace in the knowledge that Kwame had died a hero fighting for his people and his land. And they knew that his spirit would live on, watching over them from the afterlife. As they mourned their loss, the villagers came together to pay their respect to Kwame and the other fallen warriors. They knew that their sacrifice would never be forgotten. 
and that their memories will live on in the hearts of the people. And so, Kwame's farewell, though emotional and difficult, had ultimately led to a greater purpose, the protection of his people and the preservation of their way of life. His legacy would live on, inspiring future generations to stand up for what they believed in, just as he had done for the greater good.